Most of you probably have already noticed, but if you live under a rock for whatever reason, I want to tell you that this event has another special battle. And as usual with these kind of battles, there is a ranking system behind them. There are some general rewards for just doing it enough times and getting it at a score. But of course, there's also a ranking versus other players, like pretty much all the arenas where you can get special rewards for ranking high. To be honest, it's only a butter. It's only a butter. But let's be real here. Most people probably just want the highest ranked tier one. So um, if you want that, here's the right guide for you on how to rank high for this secret boss. Generally speaking, we will have actually two enemies with one of them dying rather quick, I would say. And then, of course, the destroyer is the big boss here. He's weak to win that's pretty much all you need to know and what the team should look like is da, 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 da. let me scroll let me scroll not this one this one here or mostly if you have of course the new bigamine you can just replace the cosmo with the bigamine here because the whole point here is to provide my team with a little bit more gauge up have some kind of fresh fit there early and then just hope that your unit dies at the right time with megumin it's a lot easier since you have the guaranteed explosion to just faint away and also deal some pretty decent damage in my case i'm using kazuma to have a tier 2 rush threat of course i will lose the overlap between rush threat and the x rush threat thanks to that but i have i think somewhat stronger skills and last but not least um his gauge up is a little bit better than megumin's i think so in the end it doesn't matter too much i think it's just easier to play around with megumin compared to kazuma the other main squad is fast rin fast chris and last but not least we have new year with there with melissa as our party team trade provider assist wise we just use Ares with the wind damage scroll as you can probably expect and the whole idea in the team is you have chris with her ulti 2 to buff provide speed and cdr you have then fast rin to provide a wind damage boost more cdr and just damage we actually run her ulti 1 version 1 here not her ulti 1 version 2 not the buffing one just damaging one because we should be able to loop our stuff normally and then again after kazuma dies Wiz comes in to beat a new rush with unit to use a single target use skill to hopefully crit with that and of course to slow the boss time with her ulti to apply a tier 3 match defense down so your ring can do even more damage and just play like that again the question is what do you do if you're missing some of these units if you don't have fast rin you can potentially try to run casually you also have a wind boost there you have a counter damage which should be fine you can then use her ulti 2 to get a little bit of bonus cdr of course the ulti damage will be lacking quite a bit with that but that's something you can do you can also just use for example fast yellow with her ulti 2 version 2 so your chris can do a little bit more damage um if you don't have the whiz you can also just use kazuma to come in and be a rashford unit and then just use the megami as i said before in the front if you have if you don't have the new wind megumin and you only have one of these two rush red units i think your best bet is to just use uh, just use cafe megumin potentially of course also less damage since you're lacking the rush red you also don't have any gauge up but it should still be able to tank somewhat uh, the key thing there is still to have the wave target trait on the front unit so the front unit takes most of the damage so that your rin and chris can still survive it's a bit of rng i totally get that if you get unlucky units can die in theory if you have double wind damage boosting earrings you can put one on chris and rin and you can be fine like that but i prefer this setup so at least chris has a little bit more survivability there um trade rise i actually have some defense ones equipped since i just don't have better ones but of course that's something you can also do give you a little bit more physical or magical defense with these traits but normally speaking attack ones are preferred but if you don't have that just use that uh Wiz has a back trade because she comes in quite a while later so gold trade doesn't make sense there 
in theory you can go with like a back target trade as well to just guarantee that your other units survive if you don't want the rng of the units getting killed uh, but of course you will lack a little bit of damage that way since you know no back attack trade it's just tanking trade and with that i think that should be everything that you kind of need to know with this team so let's just hump right into run and pray that we get a good run here Can we instantly use Ares assist here to get our turns ready the first rotation is rash red into wind speed boost into uh Chris speed again with mega means just the same thing but with the x rash red here it's just pressing auto uh use always use rinse shred first because it has us uh, it provides six seconds of shred versus d2 and here I just need to use two basics anyway. Yeah. Just like that. Good, 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 good. That was my shred first. So another shred. <laughs> that point we are using now Kazuma's ulti before he dies so we can use Rin's ulti a little bit earlier and I'll actually just wait until Kazuma dies here I think that might just be worth it now we'll wisp will come in and you can see one of the mobs is already pretty much down and one mob is down nice fly the speed boost here for wisp okay, let's see what the boss does And so far so good. From that point I want to just try to get your stuff in as soon as you can. The basic there. It should allow us for some quick good combo nice nice kind of unlucky uh, but should be fine i think chris should be able to survive for more attack here Use the Wiz ulti ASAP just to, you know, slow the boss down so that your units hopefully don't die. Again, now it's RNG on if he uses one more AoE skill or not, because if he does, my team just, um, my Chris will die, uh, 100%. If he just uses the ulti in single target, it should be fine. So, let's pray that we get lucky here. Yeah, that's the ulti. We wait until that. That's one basic there. The CDR. I think I misplayed that there because my Chris didn't. CDR. Oh. Unlucky dude, really unlucky.
Yeah, a little bit unlucky there at the end, but that's pretty much the rough threat. You can see a lot of it is, you know, just critting and getting lucky a little bit there at the end with the targeting. Again, if you use the Wiz target trait, you can get an easier time. But that's generally speaking the rough idea of how you want to do this. Uh, if I get a better run, I will try to edit it in after this run. So feel free to watch it if you want to see that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this little guide helps you out. Uh, good luck with getting top 1k and you know if you want to see more videos like that feel free to like subscribe and follow for more content good luck and see you all in the next one bye okay uh let me let me do run one run real quick let me just do one run real quick because i want to see if the no earring kazuma strat might might be might be poggers if that might be something to do here <laughs> それに任せろ。よし、違いだから。これで終わりにしましょう。よし。よし。ほい。なあ、もう。俺の攻撃を食らいやがれ。Let's do that to you. <laughs> of course I miss, of course I miss. Okay, can I get room skill in? 
Oh, that's so greedy. My ring could die here. God damn it. Oh, I should be first. Oh no, I didn't get to double Chris Gilson. No! The time ran out. No. Who needs Megumin, boys? Who needs Megumin, dude? If I played it a little bit cleaner and got the double Chris kills in, dude. Oh, that would have been juicy. That would have been juicy, dude. Mmm. Daka!